In a previous video, I showed you how to create a custom post type using CPT UI and also how to create custom fields using ACF, Advanced Custom Fields. Let's get back to uh, the custom post type we created in the other video, SAS products. There's nothing at the moment, as you can see. And if I want to add manually a SAS product, I'm just in front of all of these fields, the title, the uh, ACF fields, and also the SEO fields uh, from Yoast SEO. So everything is empty. And what we will do is create 39 entries uh, using WP all imports. So we will import 39 entries uh, from a CSV a spreadsheet in a moment. But first, I want to show you that uh, I have a series of uh, premium add-ons that are connected to uh, um, WP all imports. So let's go here. Uh, so I have uh, the ACF add-on. Uh, which is a premium add-on uh, which makes it work with advanced custom fields so I can get access to the advanced custom fields in my import uh, process. Then I have a free add-on called um, WP All Import Yoast WordPress SEO add-on uh, to make it work with uh, Yoast SEO and this is my WP All Import Pro um, plugin uh, pro because it has to be pro to work with the uh, ACF uh, add-on but you have also a free version for the basic features without ACF of WP all import let's get back to uh, the sidebar of WordPress and uh, start creating a new import so we, we have different ways to do it we can use an existing file uh, that's already on the com on the WordPress uh, instance, or we can also uh, connect it uh, via a URL to a Google Sheet. So you can generate a CSV URL for a, an active Google Sheet and sync it from time to time uh, with your WordPress site. Or you can also upload a file, a CSV file, uh, straight from your computer. So that's what we, we're going to do. So I have here a CSV. Um, that I prepared uh, a few moments ago and I want to connect it to the SAS products to the custom post type SAS products we move to step 2 we see we have 38 lines actually not 39, 38 um, and uh, we have all the fields that are populated as you can see um, on the spreadsheet we're moving now to step 3 and step three will be actually uh, filling out all the data on the site from um, the first entry that we have on the right hand side. So to use something, you have to double click on it and then click in the field. So the first thing we would do is um, populate the title. So the title will also become the slug, uh, the URL of your custom post type. So you have to make it uh, explicit enough so we'll take the brand here so you see um, the variable brand will be here um, and I think that's the only thing we will put there uh, because uh, otherwise it would be uh, too long we don't put anything into uh, the main section of the page because we're using advanced custom fields so we leave this empty um, then uh, we will have to uh, move to um, the image section to decide which image will become uh, will become the featured image. So we have um, grabbed a screenshot using uh, HTML CSS2 image um, via an API and we have a URL at the moment of an image which is hosted on their site right here. So we will double click here uh, put the, uh, the variable here and say that uh, we have to download the images hosted elsewhere okay um, we also search through our media library to see if we don't have any uh, images with the same uh, data but we don't have I know that but just in case and uh, we will say that this image will be uh, the featured image of uh, of the post then we have to expand the seo and advanced option because we want to set a title for the image and uh, the title that we will give to the image would be the name uh, the name of the brand 
uh, and uh, we can maybe add a screenshot because this is a screenshot of, uh, of their website. We don't add any caption, but we add an alt text, which is uh, important for SEO purposes. So let's add the same thing there. And we don't want to keep this um, cryptic uh, file name, so we want to change the file name. And we will uh, use the same data for the file name. So all of this will be uh, amended on the fly. So it will set uh, a title, an alt text, and also a file name for the file in uh, the database on WordPress. That's all for the image. Let's move to uh, the SEO add-on. So for uh, the focus keyword, focus keyword will be the brand. Um, and here uh, we will say, um, we will take the brand again, so we can just copy it. Uh, and we can say SAS review, like this for instance. And here check out our detailed review off and we take the name of the brand again as a variable so this will be dynamically populated we don't have to change anything for the facebook title and the twitter title it will be the same title as the one of the page and maybe the title of the page i can change it actually to make it more explicit and put the word review there that's better okay so let's move to not the custom fields but the advanced custom fields and i can activate sas features so as you can see, then it will be easy for us to uh, just double click, click in, URL, double click, click in, clean URL, double click, click in, display URL, that would be just the text, click in, main use case right here. Okay, so here we have um, software types. So we don't have any software types yet in the system, so we have to set them dynamically when we create each of the entries using what they call XPath, so we do this, and all of them will be separated uh, by a comma. And as you can see, that's the good thing is that they are all separated already by a comma in my spreadsheet. So I double click on tags, put it here. The note, that would be this text area here. So the free plan, uh, we'll also set it with, um, with XPath because it's dynamic. So we just double click here. As you can see, the first one has a free plan. Then we have the value, the number value for the cheapest plan. Then we have um, the, the extended version, the text version for the cheapest plan. And we have the note uh, for the cheapest plan right here. We have um, here uh, what it's best for. Okay. We have the creation year right here. We have the country of origin right here. Uh, we have a link to YouTube video, the tutorial. We have the logo. And the logo, as you can see, I've already imported it in uh, my uh, library. So I will say search through the media library for the existing images before importing it because we don't want to import it from our side to our side. doesn't uh, mean anything. And here for the screenshot, we just reference the URL, but we will say search through the media library for existing images before importing new images right here, as you can see. Uh, then we have the taxonomies. So we have the custom taxonomy software type and each of our SaaS product can have multiple uh, software types, all separated by a comma. And we take the same reference we had earlier. So tax to put it here. Then uh, we don't have to put anything here. Yes, and also we want to see uh, if we can match it with existing uh, software types already recorded for this uh, uh, post. Uh, I just uh, checked this uh, because earlier we have created actually uh, these custom post types dynamically right here in the sequence. So we don't want to create them twice. So that's why I'm checking this. But give a name to the template, uh, SAS product. And then I will go to step four. So in step four, uh, it will ask me to set a unique identifier for uh, each entry, for each line. 
so I have to grab something which is uh, unique enough uh, in um, in my uh, in my spreadsheet. I'd say that here uh, I don't have two brands with the same name, um, but 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 maybe something. Uh, yeah, maybe actually the YouTube video uh, would be unique. But let's imagine that later, um, among all my software products, I have two. Uh, uh, software with the same name uh, the YouTube video will be in all cases different so I will use as the unique identifier the reference to the YouTube video right here so I'm ready now uh, actually to import uh, the first 38 entries uh, I don't have to schedule anything so let's move to the next page okay so I don't have to change uh, my password and here I'm ready to go. So uh, let's do this. Run the import. So it takes a while. I mean, it can take a while if you have uh, hundreds of lines. Uh, I tested it a few days ago with 1000 lines. It didn't crash. So uh, just have to be patient. So uh, it will import, uh, process and import uh, the 38 records from uh, the uh, from the spreadsheet. So I will pause the video and just uh, wait for uh, the process to be completed and then I, uh, I get back to uh, the recording. As you can see we're getting there and the import is complete. So we have created 38 records uh, of SAS products. Let's go to SAS products to see how it looks like. We can see we have all the entries right here. We will take uh, one of them uh, just to check, Loom for instance, I'm recording uh, this, uh, this video with Loom, so edit. As you can see, I've got the brand, the URL, clean URL, display URL. I've got also a few uh, software types um, chosen. Uh, I've got uh, my note uh, and everything is clear. I've got my logo, I've got my screenshot and I've got here as you can see my featured image which is the screenshot. I've got also my software types on the right hand side uh, in um, the taxonomy box. So it's pretty cool and it's the same so there's no uh, duplicate. And as you can see I've got uh, my focus key phrase and everything uh, filled out in uh, the in the SEO section. So everything is ready. That was the import uh, of all the data from uh, CSV file to WP all uh, import uh, pro uh, and ACF. In the next video I will show you how to create a template to display all this data using Elementor.